Willkommen bei Ground and Pound TV. Wir befinden uns gerade in Bremen und Florent Bertrand Gall gerade an meiner Seite, der im Grand Prix teilgenommen hat. I just told the viewers he uh, was fighting in the Grand Prix at the semi-final, so to speak. Um, what went wrong there? What do you think? Bah, en fait, je pense que cette demi-finale était vraiment serrée. Je pense même qu'à la fin, en fait, euh, je dominais mon adversaire. Après, bon, il fallait un gagnant, donc ils ont choisi Gokan, qui est un très bon combattant aussi. Mais euh, je pense quand même que j'aurais dû gagner. Um, he thinks that the, the fight was very close, very very close, and at the end, as we need a winner, um, the judges, cho the judges uh, ch chose his opponent, that made uh, that made a very great fight, but. He thinks that he could have won too, you know, so it was very close. Indeed, it was a very close fight and you had some good moments, some hard punches. Um, were you surprised at the end or do you think he won? Because you heard the fans, a lot of them were booing. They thought maybe you won, I think. In fact, at the end of the combat, there were a lot of fans who were booing because they were all winning. Notamment parce qu'à la fin, tu l'as vraiment eu et dominé, tu as failli le mettre KO. Est-ce que tu penses que c'est le fait que durant le combat, il t'a sévèrement touché à plusieurs reprises qui a fait que tu puisses avoir perdu ce combat Bah en fait, euh, il m'a touché à plusieurs reprises, mais derrière j'ai récupéré. Et par contre moi à la fin quand je l'ai touché, il n'a pas le temps de récupérer puisque bah, c'était la fin et j'étais au-dessus de lui. Donc euh, voilà, je suis revenu de loin. Normalement, euh, ça doit être récompensé. Le peuple a parlé, mais les juges en ont vu autrement. So, Florent is saying that... Um... Yes, he's been he's been uh, he's been rocked uh, several times during the fight, but at the end of the fight, uh, the uh, I mean he's been rocked several times during the fight, but at the end of the fight, he uh, his opponent couldn't recover, and Florian had recovered correctly, had recovered well. So he thinks that at the end, as he was looking fresh, um, he should have won, and the public was uh, agreeing with this, but the judges uh, saw anything. But anyway. The judges, uh, the judges um, mind comments, so that's okay. Yeah, recuperation, like you said, uh, you did that in the first fight as well, where um, Hayward Charles took you down at first and uh, tried to do some submissions. And after that, it was like uh, you got the second wind and attacked very hard, punched him. Uh, is that something from him that he has very good stamina? Is, this, is that his trick, so to speak, where he can uh, beat a lot of people? Alors en fait dans le premier combat tu as eu aussi le même type de... Il s'est déroulé un peu de la même façon, au début tu t'es fait dominer, largement dominer en tout cas sur ce premier combat. Tu as, as récupéré, tu as bien récupéré et ensuite à ton tour euh, tu as tellement dominé ton adversaire que tu as gagné. Alors est-ce que, est -ce que cette condition physique qui te permet de bien récupérer, est-ce que c'est une de tes astuces, un de tes, <rire> une de tes bottes secrètes <rire> Bah c'est pas forcément une astuce mais c'est vrai que je suis un peu un diesel. Et j'ai tendance en fait à analyser le combat avant de, de lâcher, on va dire, euh, mes qualités techniques. Et euh, c'est un petit peu ma, ma manière de travailler. Après, si je vois des ouvertures, je les exploite. Mais euh, comme on est dans un tournoi et euh, les mecs veulent gagner quand même, je les sens assez vigilants. Donc j'ai tendance à ne pas tout lâcher dès le début. So, uh, Florent says that uh, he's, uh, he's uh, running like a diesel, you know. At the beginning, he's uh, kind of uh, cold. In, he starts the fight by analyzing, and then when he has analyzed, uh, analyzed enough, he pulls the trigger, and that's what happened. That's why he has to recover that well. So it's not a trick, <laughs> but it's part of him. It's part of his qualities. Yeah, great sum up. Thanks for that. I think, uh, yeah, that's your style, and that works, as we see. Um, last time we saw you in Germany was at GMC, where you beat uh, Carlos Eduardo Rocha. It was a great fight. You said then uh, you want to fight for the title at GMC. Will we see you back at GMC? Maybe fighting for the title. La dernière fois qu'on t'a vu combattre en Allemagne, c'était au GMC, ouais. euh, où tu as battu euh, euh, un adversaire euh, très coriace, et tu disais que tu voulais combattre pour la ceinture du GMC. Et est-ce qu'on va te revoir combattre au GMC, et en espérant pour combattre pour la ceinture euh, C'est vrai que au dernier combat, en fait, euh, quand j'ai gagné face à Eduardo Rocha, 
J'avais demandé à la fin donc, euh, la ceinture du GMC. Donc il est fort probable qu'on me revoie sur euh, cet événement qui est un très beau bon événement. Et euh, ça me ferait plaisir de, de recommander là-bas pour, pre pour prendre la ceinture. Um, he, definitely, he definitely likes to fight the, the GMC and he definitely wants that belt, so he will be back at GMC to get that belt. Sounds good, so watch out for Florent. Thank you very much for the interview. If you want to say any last words, do thank your sponsors or friends. You have the time now. Je remercie un dernier mot, remercie tes fans, tes amis et tes sponsors. Avant tout, je remercie donc ma femme, ma fille, mon fils. Toute l'équipe de la Snack Team, Cyril Diabaté. Euh, je remercie aussi Xavier qui m'a accompagné, qui est un très bon ami aussi. Et c'est lui qui m'a permis donc de tout donner. Et je remercie aussi donc, mes amis aussi du NCU et mes anciens euh, co compatriotes du Parabellum. Uh, yeah, well, he has, uh, he has said everything in, uh, in French. Thanking his wife, his family, his friends, all, all his guys, our guys from the Snake Team, Cyril Diabaté. He said thanks to me. Well, you're welcome. His guy from the, his, his guy from the Team Parabellum and NCU in Nanterre. And he also thanks uh, all the Germany public to support him and all his sponsors. Thanks so much. We hope to see you soon Thank in Germany. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you.